Hello, my name is Denis Fyodorov and in this video I am going to tell about Russian soft and hard science. I will explain what these uh, signs are needed for in general, then we shall dive deeper and I will explain why actually these signs are so important. Especially for your pronunciation, because problems with hard and soft signs are among the main things that usually ruin your pronunciation. So, soft and hard signs is a pretty deep topic and to go deep we need to start from the surface. So, what hard and soft signs are for a nervous? If to ask a beginner what they think about hard and soft signs and to ask to give a sincere definition, it can be something like this. Soft and hard signs are some weird Russian letters which are needed for some unclear vague purposes and on some unknown reason have no sounds of their own. And for a beginner, it's right, uh, soft and hard signs are special letters of the Russian alphabet. First of all, their main peculiarity is that um, these uh, two letters have no own sounds. A letter without a sound may seem to be a ridiculous thing, but soft and hard signs have found their steady place in Russian language as auxiliary letters and play a pretty big role in Russian, especially the soft sign. Now let's go deeper. Imagine that you are not a total novice now, uh, but have already learned the alphabet. So what you should know about soft and hard signs on this level. First of all, now hard and soft signs are letters that are placed only after consonants. Be, ve, ge, de, and so on. Uh, to change their sounding. Soft sign is placed after a consonant and make, uh, makes the sounding of this preceding consonant soft. So letter B, its sound is B, with soft sign becomes B, B, B. The same happens with other consonants, they start sounding soft. Actually, because of this ability of consonants to sound in a soft way, in addition to original alphabet way, uh, in Russian language there are more uh, sounds than letters. Let me remember that in English there are 44 sounds, represented by 26 letters. In Russian there are 33 letters but 42 sounds. There are more sounds than letters in Russian because of these additional soft sounds. And most consonants can sound in a double way, in a hard way and in a soft way. The hard way of sounding is the default sounding of letters. Hard sounds are original sounds of consonants in the alphabet. Hard sounds of consonants are B, V, G, D, and so on. Soft sounds are B, V, G, D, and so on. Uh, that's it. Nothing hard in, understa in understanding, but you need to learn to pronounce those soft sounds, of course. And on practice, for many of you, it becomes quite tricky. So, on this level, in addition to that soft and hard signs are weird letters with no own sound, we understand that they are auxiliary letters that are placed after consonant to change their sounding. Soft sign makes the preceding consonant soft and hard sign makes the preceding consonant hard, which is hard by default. So, something strange with this hard sign, right? It makes the consonant hard, which is already hard. So, it makes it hard hard or super hard or what? Actually, it lets it to stay hard. The thing with hard sign belongs to the next level the level when you start reading Russian. On this level there come very important things from Russian phonetics, confluence and palatalization. Palatalization means softening, which uh, soft sign actually does. It softens, palatalizes the preceding consonant. Confluence means merging, and here actually confluence and palatalization are the same things, but with different shades. Palatalization means the just softening. Confluence means that the softening happens by a connection of a consonant with the letter that palatalizes it. We uh, need word confluence because 
we need a second different word for palatalization to explain this stuff. Confluence is a very good word for this and you will see why. So, and now we come to the moment why we need a hard sign. The rule. Letters ye, yo, e, u, ya, mehki, znak palatalize the preceding consonant. This rule means that not only a soft sign can palatalize, but these vowels too. So this rule, it is just a small rule, and if you meet it in the textbook, you would probably skip it. Yes, well, like uh, these letters uh, palatalize the preceding consonant, you, you may think. I don't mind, let it be so, let them palatalize. And move forward uh, to some another thing. Uh, the, th the thing is that on my side there is such a service called a Russian pronunciation test. The idea is that you take your phone, for example, and send me a recorded audio or video, or video where you are reading a testing material. And, and I then listen to a pronunciation and then analyze your mistakes and send you a PDF plus a video reply with analysis. And in most of these video replies, I explain this rule that I am presenting to you right now. No matter what the level of student is, everyone has problems with confluence and, pal and palatalization. And very often this uh, tiny and small rule influences accent very much. And often it is the main pronunciation problem. So this uh, thing is very important for accent. And we need, of course, to look closer to this rule and to pay our full attention to it. So, letters ye, yo, e, u, ya, mehki, znak palatalize the preceding consonant. Which means that not only a soft sign makes the preceding consonant soft, but these letters too. So, in a combination with these letters, the begins sound to sound as a G. V begins sound as V, and so on. In Russian there are 10 vowels and half of them are presented in this list, which means that this rule is very common. And here comes the thing why we actually use word confluence along with palatalization. As I've said, a confluence and palatalization are synonyms by many. These vowels, they palatalize the preceding consonant by merging with it. They like merge into one big sound and the consonant loses its hardness this way. That is confluence. The thing is that we can consciously break this confluence. And here is where the hard sign provides help. It breaks this confluence. Die becomes die. Me becomes mje. Ge becomes ge. So hard sign breaks this confluence by inserting a small tiny pause and restoring the original sounding of a consonant to its original hard alphabet form. So word объяснение, explanation. Without hard sign it would sound as объяснение, but thanks to hard sign it sounds объяснение. Объяснение, объяснение. Here the hard sign broke, uh, broke confluence by inserting a small tiny pause and restored the original alphabet sounding of the preceding consonant. Confluence is not the thing that is common only to Russian. In English there is also a confluence which we also break, like word few, if not to break confluence after F, it, it would be few. So it's few, but could be few. But after, so after breaking confluence, we get few. Okay. But to break confluence, we do not always need to restore the original hard sounding for the preceding consonant. And that's where actually soft sign comes to the stage. It does the, the, the same thing. Breaks confluence by inserting a small tiny pause. But it doesn't make the original sounding of the consonant hard and let it to stay soft. Die becomes die. Me becomes mie. Ge becomes gie. So we break confluence by making a small pause, but the consonant stays soft. That's why we need two words, palatalization and confluence. 
Consonant can stay palatal, but confluence can be broken at the same time. Examples. I will be reading confluence and palatalized combinations, then will break confluence with soft sign, then with the hard sign. B, 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 V, 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 G, 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 D, 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 Z, 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 K, K, K. Ли, 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 ми, 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 ни, 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 пи, 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 ри, 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 си, си, си. Ти, 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 фи, 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 хи, хи, хи. I hope that at least in a couple of combinations you've heard and realized that, and realized the difference between how hard and soft signs break confluence. So we have learned this rule that letters. Е, Йо, И, Ю, Я, мягкий знак, palatalize the preceding consonant. But there is another important addition to this rule, which is, if letters Е, Йо, И, Ю, Я, мягкий знак, palatalize the preceding consonant, it means that other vowels do not palatalize the preceding consonant. That is very important thing to remember. So, summary. Soft and hard signs are first of all instruments of breaking off confluence of sounds, and they both break the confluence by making a small pause after the consonant they follow and making this consonant to become hard or soft. Soft sign is used much wider because it can, in addition to breaking confluence, also palatalize consonant in the ending of the word. So you. It is used more widely because it often used as a last letter in the ending of words. Hard sign cannot play such individual role because sounds of much uh, most consonants are hard by default, so it only breaks confluence. That's it. Hope you now understand hard and soft uh, signs on an entirely new level. Uh, thank you for your time, and bye.